Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the How To Minecraft series. And uh, look at a PD Hut Jr. there, just in a little bit of a hint there, waits for season 2. I was talking to him for a little bit about what to do for this episode, and I thought of a couple things to do. Uh, so last episode, we had the Death Drop minigame, which I won. Didn't really get a prize for that, but uh, that was a nice little fun banter thing we did last episode. Uh, but I have a couple things to show off you guys that I sort of found last episode, because it went into my ender chest. I forgot we had the dragon egg, so I was also talking to Pete and he gave me some inspiration to make the DJ shack that we never made. And we're going to put that back out here in our little sort of, I don't know what you call this place, it was like a little marketplace. We had our uh, Bloor Corporation assassination place, that's there, and I have a contract on someone right now, but, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you who it is, I'm actually going to show you who it is, but the problem is, is that that person hasn't logged on in a century, and I kept the secret at first. But I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, so I have a contract on Rob. But I can't, I can't, he's not on. He literally hasn't logged on the server in like two weeks. And now he knows I'm coming for him because I obviously just told you guys. So I don't really, I just knocked a water bottle over. That's not cool. Um, yeah, no, like I, I could take him down with him knowing. I mean, I did it last time. But uh, it's just Vic you need to worry about, really. So if that was Vic, I'd come right for him. But no one's giving me a thing on Vic, and Vic isn't, hasn't logged on for a while. Because it seems that everybody in the How to Minecraft server is slowly getting ready for some sort of season finale. Um, so, I don't... Did anyone just see my fish just try to get out? I saw that. That was really scary. Yeah, so I mean, like, people aren't going, you know, balls to the wall like they were at the start, trying to get as many resources and stuff like that. Has somebody robbed my discs? Oh no, I put some upstairs, didn't I? Yeah, I put some upstairs. Because yeah, what I want to do is I want to make a retro disc store sort of up here where DJ Skellix used to live. So if anybody wants to come around and buy some uh, some discs, they could go ahead and do that. There's a couple of series that are going to be starting in the next couple of days. And, uh, you know, I just want to make sure you guys know that there's a lot of stuff coming out. I just... Oh, there's the Five Nights at Freddy's animation, which is coming out this weekend. I sort of get a little bit of hint of that on Twitter. And uh, that's going to be awesome. You guys may have seen that in my vlog as well. Um, that's so funny. And then there's my second channel as well, where I'm starting a new series on that. Um, I'm going to be starting playing The Escapists. Apparently, a lot of people have been requesting that. So um, if you like that game, then uh, head over to my second channel. I'm going to play on that soon as well. Um, but I'm trying to think what I can do to sort of recreate uh, this retro disc sort of thing that I'm going for here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a sort of vinyl disc. So I'm using the... I want ideally light grey wool. Let's get a disc out. Just to... Because I'm trying to like get a disc on the front of it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, I, and like black in the middle for the vinyl. And then I need like some grey. I need grey wool. So, I could use stone. Stone would work. It's a little bit of a cop out, but I'll try stone. Stone or stone bricks? Nah, stone's cleaner. We'll go with stone. Alright, so we'll go with stone and uh, well, that's all that, didn't it? <laughs> I've had stone. Ah, oh, andesite would be better actually. Yeah, andesite's much better. Okay, uh, how much of it do we have is the problem. Is there any andesite in here? Um, there's granite. Any andesites? Doritorites, stones, and there is none of that. Oh, well, that's a little unfortunate. And yeah, like I said, what else we're going to do is we're going to make a nice little display cage for our dragon egg. Uh, we have yet to do that, so we're going to do that this episode. Let's get the dragon egg out. I was thinking some nice little podium in our little marketplace would, you know, it would work quite well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I haven't really done much with the creepers over there on our creeper farm. They're still just sitting there chilling about, so... We'll leave them for now. Um, yeah, so I want to get some glass as well to surround the dragon eggs. I was meant to breed my bunnies, but I didn't really get time to do that. Oh, that is what I wanted to do as well. Where are my remaining name tags? I believe I have at least one left. Um, if not, I might steal the one that, that uh, Pete had outside my house. I'm not too sure. I swore I had one left. Did I get all the creepers? I swear I had one left after the creepers. Because... Jerome named one, and I named one. Oh. Guess maybe not. Guess I don't have a spare name tag, because I swear I named, like, two. And then... Let me actually check the names of these creepers, because if they aren't there, then I'm missing a name tag somewhere. And I want to name tag my bat, and I want to make him upside down. A lot of people have been saying, put the bat upside down. I want to see what it looks like when he hangs from the ceiling. I, myself, want to see this, so... Um, oh, I scared them for a second that someone blown up our creepers. What are their names? Alright, that was... Was that my name? 
Godfather Creeper. I don't... That might have been me. What's that name? Can't see it. Mr. Creeper. I think that was Jerome's. Yeah, there was Mr. Creeper, Godfather Creeper would have been mine. And then where did my other name tag go? It's in here? There it is! Ah, there we go. I called one Charger. Alright, well, we're calling this one Grum now. Oh! 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 Petey! Petey Hot Jr. How you going, buddy? Don't blow up the creepers, whatever you do. Hey, Petey! Actually, that's what I want to try. I want to try riding a horse with zero ping, just to show you guys the difference. I wonder if he wants to have a duel. Alright, you misspelled Hutville. Plus. Plus pity. Plus piz. Pity, I can't deal. I can't deal with this. No piz pity. I wanted to get a pet slime as well. Um, I was in the... Yeah, you guys saw that massive slime I had the other day. I really want to try and get a pet slime and keep it captive for Pete. Just because I think it would be kind of cool if I did that. Um, Alright, anyway, where was I going? Okay, so let's... Let's go ahead and do this. Let's make it... I think it's... Oh, I want to double check this. Because I <laughs> did this to Jerome and we wasted one. Um, so it needs to be either Dinnerbone or Grum. But I want to check what it is actually for Grum. Because I, I don't want to go uh, Dinnerbone. It's sort of boring. Screw it. We'll go Dinnerbone. You can't see it either. Anyway, who cares? Let's just go Dinnerbone. Alright. Dinnerbone. Capital D. Okay. That is what we need to do. Alright. So capital D... Dinner bone. Okay, get that and now let's put it on our bat and see him flip upside down. He better not escape He has been here for about a good 70 80 episodes. He sat pretty. All right I don't think he can get out of this half slab thing here anyway um, So I'm gonna get a piece of glass just to fix it when he break it um, Here do you want a yellow glass trim you get a yellow glass trim. <laughs> I hope you wanted it because now you're getting it All right Let's put him in for a dinner bone. Oh my god, is that not the most augmented thing you've seen yet? <laughs> An upside down bat. What the hell? Look at him. He looks normal. No, no, he looks... What is he doing? Zubat, please. Zubat, what are you doing? I want to see him... I want to see him relax and sit down because he's going to be jokes. He's going to be... He's going to be sitting still like... And he's just gonna be like, there he is, there he is. Okay, we need to get close to him. Oh, I didn't see it. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. He, he seems to get flustered whenever I go near him. All right, let's try and view it from this side of the house. Come on, go down, go down. I don't know if Optifine, which is a little obnoxious. Come on, go down. No one's there. No one's there, Zubat. Dinner bone. Dinner bone bat. You're, no one's there. Dinner bone bat. That's his new name. Dinner bone bat. Here to save the day. All right, anyway, let's leave him alone. Let's work on this sort of vinyl thing we were doing. Oh, there's my blocks of andesite. Huh. Huh. Mind if I take a couple here and just, uh, just a little bit of uh, dirt can go in there and we'll be sweet. All right. And nobody knew the difference. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because that's the Liberal Corporation assassination, of course. All right. So let's get an item frame and put it on an item frame to sort of get like an image of it. And then, uh, hopefully we can replicate it. I mean, this is what I ideally want to replicate. Um, where are my item frames at? I had a bunch of these bad boys. Did I leave them in the chests over there? I think I did. Yeah, I did, because I was like, oh, look at the item frames, let's put them everywhere. And then I didn't put them everywhere, and then it's just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. All right. <laughs> This is gonna be... It, it's either gonna be too large. The hard part is downscaling it. Because obviously I could just go pixel art with this. But it'd be quite big if I did a block by block for pixel for pixel. It'd be for... I'm trying to roughly... It'd be about... It, yeah, that's five blocks. Another five. It'd be about 16 blocks long. That way. Horizontal. And then about... Sorry, I hit the mic. About eight down or something like that. Uh... My item frames are not here. I must have put them back in my house. Sick. All right. Well, we'll grab them out and then we'll put them down and hopefully have just enough to uh, try out this vinyl disc mechanism. There's Pete's his his dead Illumi knockback. It was a sad story. I watched the video. Oh god. All right. Well, anyway, where are our item frames? Framed? Where are they? And. Uh, there they are. Alright, yeah. And like today's a pretty busy day. I mean, I leave for PAX tomorrow, which is going to be pretty, pretty hype. I'm um, looking forward to seeing everybody. The whole pack's going to finally be in one place, which is pretty goddamn awesome. 
Um, that's like the first time that's ever happened. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so let's see. I just want like some sort of small vinyl disc sort of thing here. So let's go for, hmm. Cause it's like, it's like five, three and one and one. Five, three, one and one. So let's convert that to like four. Yeah, four. So let's start it. Let's start the bottom here. This is, you're probably gonna be like, Lachlan, what the hell are you doing? And fair call, cause I don't even know what I'm doing. But I have to make it five though to make it symmetrical though. Cause if I do four, there's not gonna be a midpoint. So I'm gonna have to do five. So it is gonna be scale to scale, I guess, in a sense. Um, oh, but the trim is meant to be a little black. Oof. Okay, we don't have enough resources. I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and try to farm up some wool and stuff like that, and I'll be back in a second. All right, okie dokie. So I've gone and uh, killed a lot of uh, squids for some ink sacks, farmed a bit of it. Actually, it wasn't too hard with the looting sword. I got to about 33 gray wools. There was a little bit of white wool left over, so I just merged that together, and then I dyed a couple of my sheep, so I brought them outside. And then I went to Vix and then Tyler's, and then took their sheep and did some stuff with them as well, because that took a long time. Uh, then I went around and found some andesite in my other chest downstairs, which was kind of weird, actually, and then I tore a couple out of here. You probably won't even notice, because I was that sneaky. Uh, but, uh, and then I, I don't know, got a bit more coal crushed into... Uh, some blocks and we have the same amount of stone because there's like four different types of like black or gray There's the black like in the middle. That's coal. There's uh, the outline black Which is going to be gray then there is the sort of middle bits which are going to be both Andesite and stone all right, so and on the bottom we're gonna start with Gray it's actually five types of gray. It's hard <laughs> because the outline becomes Okay, let's put coal on the bottom as well, actually. So coal, just to give it a bit of a shading is all it does, really. So we need five blocks of coal underneath. All right, so let's find the midpoint here. This is where Skellix once stood, guys. Right where he stood. One, two, three, four. Now, oh, the coal's actually got that texture on it, which is a little noxious. All right, there's your five blocks of coal. Um, and then after that, you want to get your grays. So this is what the other layers are going to be. So you get your five blocks of gray. I should just bring that up here to be fair. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up here. <laughs> Otherwise, that's gonna get uh, just really obnoxious. All right, let's put this up here so I don't have to come down and up the stairs every five seconds just to see the damn disc. And hey, we might even change the mid color to make it a cool, maybe we might make it cat because we always got cat, I'm not too sure. All right, so let's see. There's the edge um, and then there's one, two, three coals that go up the side of that. Um, and then back over around here as well. We got three coals one two and three and okie dokie uh, We're gonna run out of coal. We're gonna get more coal. I think we have enough to crush more out um, I took them from the furnace these ones, but there should be more um, and then I Have found a better place for this What better place than right there? <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard because I'm looking into it twice. All right, so then we move on to the I believe we're gonna use andesite because there's more they oh, Pretty much the same. Now, yeah, we're moving to andesite. No, we have more stone. We'll sprinkle andesite because there's less of it. So five on top of this as well. So that's in the wrong place. Thank you. All right. One, two. That's rotating the disc. Let's not do that. We have a formula right now. Okay. All right. And one there as well. Okay. It's starting to take shape. You're probably thinking, no, Lachlan, this is not taking shape at all. And then to you, I say, stop being a hater, please. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna need to build some sort of scaffolding to get up in this because we don't have fly mood. It's quite scary. It's quite scary. We really don't want flight mood. Um, all right, so let's see. We're gonna put three on top of these bad boys on both sides. I guess this is just the best way to do it. Is just layer it up, I guess, and just build it up as we go. Um, okay, so that's that. That's that. And then we have two, uh, two andesites, a gap, and then okay, so two, a gap, one. I believe that's it, and the rest is stone. Just give that texture. This is not looking a bit like the disc, but I don't care. Um, and then in the middle, we have a three of coal. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a call. Or we could change the color. Oh, gee, Skellex. I thought you, are you Skellex? You came at me with such furious. You just wanted to be a part of it. Well, buddy, you can't. I'm sorry, mate, that ship has sailed. 
All right, no one in Skellix anymore, unfortunately. All right, what else can we do here? We could do... Hmm, I feel like... Oh, Jerome's on. Hey, buddy. Um, I think we'll do Salty Track. Yeah, Salty Classic Track. Let's get out of Strad. We'll change it to a, uh, a nice little Strad, shall we? So, we'll get some white walls out. Oh, there's a spare piece of wool. I think we're out of wool completely. Is there any white... Oh, snow would work perfectly. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, I do need some foods, though. Any food ski doodles? Uh, I, oh, yes, chicken. Mm -mm -mm. I sort of cleared all the coal out of here. Oh, salmon. Um, and then we need more. No, we're not doing coal anymore. All right, awesome. Hey, fish, 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 fish. How are we today? <laughs> I haven't really said hi to them. I haven't really fed them yet either. I'm going to feed them a squid. Um, all right, so we're going to go with a salty disc now. So get out of there and put that in. No pepper tracks here. All right, we're going to go and we're going to go put three... So like a Pokeball figure with a coal in the middle. So, Pokeball um, figure with a coal in the middle. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, pro yeah, we'll go with the coal in the middle. All right. And I believe there was one off each side of that as well. Yep, there was. Okay, awesome. I believe I have that down packed. Um, I should have brought more scaffolding blocks though. All right, let's just use some cobble to get across these things. All right, and just like that, we'll put a snow block there and a snow block there. And there's the salty bit. It's a little salty emblem. This is a little bigger than I wanted it to be. See, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> um, let's try to remember this. It's uh, one, three. So it's like opposite of what it was before, then five of the other one, then five of the other one. Okie dokie. This is getting very messy scaffolding. Uh, I'm going to bring the track with me and place it down. On the go. That's probably a much better idea now that I think about it. All right. So let's get the shell of this all done and dusted. Um, so where's my track at? All right. Let's place it down. Let's have a look. So on top we go. On on the three we go. Uh, that's Andy site that goes there. All right. So we go Andy site. Andy site. Andy site stone and stone on the other side of that not going to worry too much about it though then it goes uh stone and stone again i believe yep stone and stone again of course i swapped it out for nothing we don't even <laughs> i'm getting so confused with my own recipe right now so one two three that's obnoxious and this is just the emblem guys that's the sad part this is just the emblem all right so that goes all the way there and then he has, yes, that there as well. And he has some other little things over there. Let's just try and finish the top off over here, though. Um, so, let's take the disc with me. The... Really? <laughs> That's, that actually makes me cry. Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? No. Oh, no. All right. We'll climb back up to the top, I guess. All right. Put it back on. Let's finish this. Jeez, man, this is just... The, we've got to actually have the store to sell the damn things as well. All right, so he's all the way up to the top, and he just needs to be topped off with... Um, with some good old clay. Uh, good old clay. Good old wool. All right. And then I would love to get around this side. To pretty much just replicate what's down there. Stone, stone. And I believe this is also stone there. And there and there. Now the hard part is uh, trimming off the edges, I guess, in a sense. I'm not sure how this disc is going to look, like, on the other side. So let's see here. We are right there. And then we need to pretty much get over to this side. Because we've got to go wool all the way across three and three. So one, probably get it from here. Yep. Two, three. All right. And then... They've got to like sort of crinkle down, really. So they go through across, and then they go. Actually, there's another piece of. <laughs> For crying out loud! <laughs> no, this is so hard. Everyone's like, do build projects. It's like this is why I don't do them. They're so annoying. All right, let's see. There is actually one more piece of coal on each side. Okay, so let's get the coal out. That's good. I only have one more piece left. Uh, so a coal piece goes there, and a coal piece goes there. Okay, the rest is wool. If I run out of wool, expect riots. Um, Alright, so let's see. Let's just build it from the side here. So, 
Um, it goes like that, three across, then a side, then one on top of that piece there. We're gonna run out of wool. We are going to run out of wool and I'm not gonna be happy about it. All right, so one there and then one to the side. And how many up from that side piece? Uh, one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. And now I can't see the disc because I don't have Optify. I'm crying out loud. Uh, then it comes sort of back in one. So we'll go stone from up there. So it should be at three pieces of stone. And on top of that, you top it with a piece of... Filling ends the easy part. Fill it in with a piece of wool. Oh my God, I can't see it again. Then you top it off with three all the way across to sort of bring these two together. All right, so one, two, and three. Perfect. And then we'll just do the rest of the filling job. Yeah, we're probably going to run a little low on wool. We'll just go ahead and just replace some of that, I guess. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got some stone here. Let's go. Um, it's all stone on the top layer. Oop, I don't think that's stone. Yep, it was not. We give that gap that's already there. Then we go andesite, andesite, stone, andesite, and stone, stone, there's andesite right where I'm standing, stone, stone, let's get rid of that, and you little freaking, Arr! that's the worst, I believe it was just, oh, it was, yeah, and then you take this bout here, andesite, done. All right, how's this disc looking? I think we're doing it right, I think we are doing it right. Okay, I like this, I like this, it's, it's, you know, it, it's what it is, it's, it's what I'm trying to do, but the problem is, is that we're gonna run out of grey wool and then I'm not gonna be happy. Oh yeah, we're literally just gonna cut it so short. All right, let's have a look at what we're missing on this side anyway. And let's finish it up. Then we might even just have to wrap it up because we've been so long building this damn disc. This is why I do not build. All right. Let's see. We have stone all the way across. Um, one. Andesite. We're out of stone. Great. Oh, that's a bottom cap. I knew I shouldn't have broken so much of it. Stone, stone. It's double andesite underneath, but I can't reach it. And I need more stones. Let's go out and get more stone. Uh, then we also get some more gray wool as well. So let's see if I have any more gray dye. I'm pretty sure I used all of it up. Uh, do I have any gray wool in here? No, I do not have any freaking wools. All right, let me have a look, because I might visit Tyler's house again for some special wools. Um, I didn't check all my chests, I don't think, for wool. or the dyes that are required. All right, I'm just going to do some visits to Tyler's house and uh, just go around and find some wool. Back in a sec. Okay, doke. So I received about five or six wool. Jerome helped me out a little bit. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, that never changes with lag and ping, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, so Jerome helped me out with some wool, and I uh, went over there, shaved some of his sheep, and killed some of his squids. Combined it with a little bit of bone meal, and voila, we are good again. I didn't pick up any stone, however. I forgot about the stone completely. I went from stone to wool. I feel like I should get Jeb up in that house, though. I, I actually might transport Jeb over to a new place over here. Oh, there was stone in one of these furnaces, I believe. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Um, why is there? Yeah, I found that a cheeky dispenser down there. And I don't know who's done it. Are they trying to like suck up my fish or something? Like, please don't take my fish. That would be very mean. All right. Anyway, let's finish this d retro disc. I knew doing a full scale build would be the worst. All right. Um, so let's see. We have that there. We have andesite. All right. Yeah, I've got enough stone here to last me a century. But I won't do it anyway. Just place it there. Um, it's all along that, it's fine. Andesite, yep, there's all the andesite that needs to be placed. Then we need to get around and sort of do that same scale build thing. So we go one up, that's the last piece of coal. And then we go for a gray wall there. That was painful. <laughs> the amount of, the scaffolding dodgy job we've done here is just, you know, you pay, you, you get what you pay for, like, honestly. All right, one, and then I forget. <laughs> and then I forget, okay. One up, 
then one across. Alright, so we got one up. It's alright, yep. Yeah. One up. Then one across. I might need that piece of grey wool. Uh, then up three. Up one, two, three. And one there. Oh, I think we're done. I think we're free. I think. Everybody look away. Everybody look away. Get ready because the big icon for the store is ready. Let's remove all the scaffold. Of course, we need to keep the original hut that DJ Skellix once lived in. All right, I need to just get some axes out. Cut most of this excess wood down because that's not a part of DJ Skellix's lively. Oh, there's a friggin item frame there. Um, can I shoot it down with a bow or something real quick? I don't have a bow on me. Uh, I have to get back up and destroy it. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. This little icon we've made. Despite the fact it took way too long and I could have done a lot of other things when I'm, you know, strapped on time. But hey, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to do with this um, retro store. We just need to build the actual store now. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that for the rest of the episode. So, um, yeah, that's our, that's our disc. Let's have a look. Looks pretty good. Why didn't I just hold it in my hand the whole freaking time? Oh, I guess I couldn't see a corner of it. Um, yeah, we did it completely to scale. So, especially with the anti site. I hope we're all happy with that. I'm happy with that. Now we just need the store. All right, so we're going to need to do a little bit of renovations here. Obviously, we don't want to mess with the classic format we have going here, which is just DJ Skellix's OG of OGness. Um, so it's just you know, similar blocks of wood that would just all merge together because why not? Um, that block wasn't there before. It was, was a slab. All right, slab hype, slab hype. Get rid of these. These are excess stone blockages. All right, and I think we're looking pretty symmetrical on this side. I, yeah, we'll keep the Skellex tape first album there because like they might want to buy it or something even though we don't have a full set for the whole tape, but you know, that's fine. Actually, let's rip down this whole wall. We'll just keep the roof of it for now. Keep his actual pad, though, because that needs to stay there. Absolutely needs to stay there. All right. That is the pad where he stood for so many episodes and so many days. And now he's now he's a ghost town. Now he's dead. All right. How's good old dinner bat going? How you going, buddy? You fly into the ground, you silly bat. All right. Um, let's go ahead and make some... Yeah, let's make out of brown stained clay. Get some dark oak wood going. And let's try and see what we can do with this right here. I think we have to be able to make a nice little, you know, something presentable. Presentable, all right. So let's keep with the theme. It was a nice mixed, um, you know, sort of weird theme we had going. Uh, let's dig up all but where he stood because that would be disrespectful if we dug up his actual pad. All right, so let's give it a little bit of space as well. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it there. No one can stand there. Oh, I guess they can. They can sort of like, oh, I stood for Skellix was. That's so cool. And uh, yeah, I guess with that being said, we'll get that there and that there. Then we'll just close it off with some brown wool here and here. Okie doke. And there and there. Okie doke. And probably get some sort of that there and i guess i sort of want to frame a skelex there it's not going to be much guys it's only going to be a small store i'm going to set the, separate them into two categories ones that are five diamonds and ones that are one diamond so no three and one actually is a fair call because actually maybe i should separate them to more actually i might just not sell any of them that are just too expensive because to be honest like the red track, I'm not selling that. I only have one of them. That's a hard track to get. Took me a lot of grinding to get that track. And uh, I don't really want to get it again. I should have put torches on top of this guy, but oh well. We don't have time for that. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I might wrap my episode up right there. I've been going on for a lot, rambled on a little bit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode building DJ Skellix's, uh, you know, retro shack where he will sell his discs because he's dead now. He's worth a lot more and people might want to pick up an exclusive track. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below. Also, don't forget, limited edition How to Minecraft DJ Skellix shirts are on sale right now for the next two weeks on the Posh Light Clothing uh, website store. You can visit the link below to visit that store page. Only up for a while and then they're going to be taken down. So if you want to be a part of it, then uh, hit that up. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see
see you tomorrow or the next day for a brand new episode of How To Minecraft. See you guys.